Welcome back, everybody, to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. We found the Shinra Terminal that's gonna tell us where the Setra, aka Ancient Temple is. And, um... That last portion of the game was absolute cringe, almost as bad as... Nanaki's story, but, um... But now we're here, in the old Shinra Manor. We met one of the coolest people on the planet, Vincent Valentine. Remembered his name right off the bat because he's so goddamn cool. I wish he was part of our of our group. I'm hoping that at some point, even if I gotta wait until the third installment, that we get to play with him, but... Um... Yeah, that guy was dope as hell, and uh... But, nevertheless, we're continuing on, and we're just gonna talk to everybody before... Uh, Jack is ready, aka Kate Sith. So, Tifa, how's every- no? Nothing? Okay. Uh, maybe we're not talking to anybody. Um, cool. Alright, well, I guess the game probably wants me to go in here and... This is where Sephiroth was when he absolutely made us look like a little bitch. Oh, here we go. Memories activate. We never went in here, though, right? Did we? What's going on here? I can't move. Nearly there. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm moving a little bit. I have to take it step by step. Ugh. Come on. I can't. Ugh. This is so weird. It's not. Okay. Come on. What is this? What is this? To the fucking Let's Powerpuff Girls? <laughs> what? Oh no! Vincent? Vincent had a pistol. That was a pistol round going off. I don't recall giving you permission to go in there. Oh, it was an honest mistake. We didn't mean any. Ah! Don't hurt me! Hey man, Please. cool it. I can explain. Drop it. Why should I? You might be cool, but trespassing, like you. Kate was Stay technically it. here first. I've had a pretty shit day. What a coincidence. So am I. I <laughs> fucking palmed him. Uh... What the fuck? Take a wild guess and say we don't play as it. Come on. Son of a bitch. Why am I playing as Kate Sith? Here we go. 
Shitting me. Stop it! 
What the fuck? Uh... Fucking... <laughs> fucking hell. So it's my turn? No! By the skin of Are you still alive, Aerith? There. No, not what I meant. Let's do this. <laughs> Fucking bastard. No, 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 back up. Back up. Back it up. Oh no, 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 back up, back up, back up. Son of a bitch. Dude, god damn it! Some hero you turned out to be. Ah, <sighs> he grabbed me off the wall and I thought or he, the savage beast thing fucking <sighs> I thought he was gonna fucking claw at me, but he grabbed me instead. Son of a bitch, man. Oh my fucking lord, this is tough. <sighs> This isn't like, this isn't annoyingly t this is like intense tough. Like, I feel fucking worn out after each battle. It's not like, uh... I don't know. It's, it's like... I feel like it's pretty well balanced. It's just fucking... It is difficult, for sure. Damn it! Uh, get him up! 
No! Get back! No, 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 no. Why is he not up? Fucking shit, dude, that... That was a fucking battle. God damn. I know your story. Vincent Valentine, former Turk. Former Turk? Stumbled on your file in the company database. There's a reason you're alone in the dark down here. And that reason has something to do with Sephiroth. Am I right? <laughs> That's none of your business. I only ask because you might want to come with us. Yes, dude! Bring him I along! I don't know whether Sephiroth is dead or alive or something in between. But I do know that if I stick with this lot, I'll find out one way or another. Please, please, say yes. Come on, no, don't walk through the door. You want your story to end? Get out. No. Come on, man. Let bygones be bygones. You don't gotta go. Well, there's a door sticking through the door. That'll be or a, way a, do out a chair sticking now we through know the door. Where the temple is. Let's not bother the man. Hey, Space Cadet. Come on. It's alright, Baird. I wasn't gonna replace you. He's just really cool, you know? <sighs> alright, well. There's. I'm just gonna take one mega potion. I can afford it. God damn, that was crazy. Dude's hella strong. Of course, if we got him on our team, he wouldn't be that strong because that's how games work. And there might be toxic of the pain hidden from right here? That all you ever think about. So you really for trying to be helpful. I guess we'll see you next time. So Jack, you gonna explain why he was down there? You're just gonna keep that all to yourself. Hear that black materia? I'm coming!
coming for you. Oh, man. My rep's gonna go through the roof. Well, it ain't like it can go down. <laughs> Got her. Oh. Oh, it's on. So, <laughs> where is it? Hi. About that. What's the matter? You ain't been bluffing this whole time, have you? No, that's not it. We could go there right now if you really wanted. Hmm? But? But before that, would you mind a quick trip to the saucer? What? What? Why would we want to go there? To even set foot inside the temple, we'll need to get our hands on a relic called the Keystone. The trouble is, it's been missing for nigh on 20 years. So, any guesses as to where it was last seen? The gold saucer. I know. It's a stretch. No denying that. But it's the only lead I've got. Then let's follow it. We trust you. You do? Thank you. Even if you are a <laughs> shitty combatant. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Well, if we gotta. Once we're good, let's get a move on. Right. Okay, well, uh, maybe we'll make it to the edge of this here. Honestly seemed like a really good place to stop, but I want to see what happens when we get back into Nibelheim. What's this? For fuck's sake, Shinra. Holy fuck! I thought you and I were cool! You just exploded your own bike! Our long-awaited reunion. I'm not going with you, so back off. <laughs> you misunderstand. I'm defying my boss to be here. Cause I've got a hunger that cannot be denied. SC4? <sighs> what the hell? Desire to see you has driven me on. That's what I get for redlining the old engine. All right, my friend, it's the final lap, so let's cut it one last time. He's mine. What the fuck is going on? Ah. Ah. Fuck. Damn it. Come on, get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. Come on. Ah. Come on. Allow me. Okay. Ouch. Let's try that again. I can do this all day, man. Fucking bitch, dude. Oh, shit. Ain't 
Son of a bitch, dude. How the fuck? How the fuck? Cool, cool! Absolutely ruined the momentum of the fucking story by losing. God damn it. God damn it. Okay. Damn it. Gotta be careful. Feeling good. Come on. Damn it. Not looking good. <sighs> Fuck you, bitch, dude. Oh, uh, why is he so good now? Fuck. Any last words? <laughs> Fucking motherfucker, Jesus. Okay? <laughs> uh, uh, I won't have your pity. This is a race, remember? This fucking. Come on, Cloud. We're on the home stretch! He's gonna fucking transform, isn't he? Fuck. Black materia. Dream on. That materia is mine. You fish shut the fuck up. There's no escaping the degradation. That won't happen to you. Don't worry. Yeah, she's right. You're gonna be just fine. Come on. The gilded saucer awaits. And the keystone. Yeah. Oh, dude, if I was Cloud seeing that shit in person, that would fuck me up. <laughs> Come on! Huh? Look. Supporters of the Shinra Resistance Committee. My name is Glenn Lodbrock, a representative of Wu Tai's interim government. 
the hour is upon us, when we must rise up to confront tyranny. Mere days ago, Hunan's cannon rang out. Days? A message, a declaration by Shinra's new president that he, like his father before him, would rule by fear. What's more, we recently learned that he had sanctioned the development of living weapons grown within the Mako reactors that provide power to your homes. So this is still modern Alarmed, day. We decided to seek answers. And in accordance with the ceasefire treaty, our government sent officials to investigate. Uh-oh. Shinra promised their full cooperation. But when our inspectors duly arrived, they were mercilessly slaughtered. The footage you are about to see was taken from inside one of the reactors. So I thought this was a, another flashback to a different time. This is what Rufus Shinra calls a ceasefire. Friends, we do not have our enemy's military might. Nevertheless, a righteous fury burns in each of our hearts. A fire that we may carry to Midgar. And there, together, put the city of Mako and Misery to the torch. This is our answer, Rufus Shinra. We are ready to march. And to lead us. Wutai's commander. Viceroy Saru. Exactly is this Saruf? The invisible man? Regrettably, we have no intelligence to present at this time. <laughs> then you clearly aren't looking hard enough. Look harder. Ma'am. What about that Glenn? What's his name? Glenn Ladbrock, ma'am. Ex soldier. P0 class, a prototype. 15 Damn. years ago, he was sent to Rador on a geological survey, which ended in failure and led to his defection. <laughs> a spineless deserter nursing a grudge, then. Subsequently, Lodbrok took to the road, seeking to forge connections with others who shared his anti Shinra sentiments. <laughs> if you mean Avalanche, they're dead and buried. I'm afraid I do not, sir. The fall of the Republic triggered a spate of uprisings in the surrounding regions. We suspect the SRC is largely comprised of forces who were defeated during the unrest. Well, who could blame them? They fought against the Republic in the name of freedom. But when the smoke finally cleared, they found themselves under the heel of a new oppressor. Why, I'd be more surprised if they didn't hate us. Pity about Saruf would be good to put a face to the name. What if it was him? The guy at the table. The Ancient is en route to the temple as we speak. Pursuing her is our top priority. She will guide us to the promised land. One way or another. Hmm. Mm. Regarding the speech, sir, many will interpret it as a declaration of war. And given that it was a worldwide broadcast, it would be prudent to issue a response. 
I intend to make a statement. Sung, if you would. Sir. So, how exactly are we supposed to get back to the saucer? With all the mountains and valleys in between, definitely not on foot. It's just way too far. Yeah, no shit. Thoughts, Kitsef? Kate? Hey, Cat! Thoughts? Huh? Um, well, you see. Maybe someone's trying to call for Sid? If so, let's hitch a ride. Whew. I don't like this, Jack. Breaking news at this hour. Breaking news at this hour. In response to last night's illegal broadcast by the SRC, President Rufus Shinra held an emergency press conference this morning. In it, the president denounced the SRC's claims as baseless propaganda and dismissed their alleged Mako reactor footage as a digital fabrication. Hmm. The company has launched an investigation into the individual who delivered the address, as well as the nature of the organization he claims to represent. All right, well. Breaking news at this hour. I don't need to hear it again, thanks. All right, I think that's where I'm going to end this episode. Um, things are getting heated. They're getting spicy. We got uh, 10 minutes left of this chapter before... Father fucker, god damn it. All right, let's go see what he's up to. Hey, Kate Sith. Did you hear anything about what went down at the Nebo reactor? Not much, I'm afraid. Just that an unknown force had breached the perimeter. Shinra troops were dispatched in response, and a battle ensued. Now I get it. That was their plan all along. Eh? Come again? They wanted to be found. They lost on purpose. That's the only explanation. How else would ninjas lose to grunts? They just threw their lives away. Who would do something like that? I mean, would you? Sure I would. In a heartbeat. So, we Italians really aren't afraid to die. Of course we are. It's scary, and it sucks, but I'd still do it. That's how much I hate Shinra. <sighs> hey, Kithi, you said you thought your people had lost the battle on purpose, but you didn't really mention why. To make a point. What better way to prove how evil Shinra is than with a pile of dead bodies? My people sacrificed themselves for the greater good, to stoke the flames of rebellion. Yeah, that's it. It must be. Aye. I'm starting to think you might be right. Out of curiosity, do you know Viceroy Saruf? Duh. I mean, I don't know know him. Like, I've never met him or seen his face, but no one has. Which makes sense. He's Shinra's most wanted, so he's gotta lie low. Real low. If he oh, even exists. But that's secret. Top secret in my big mouth. Uh, it sounded like Shinra knew what was going on before it happened. At least Rufus did. And, uh, I don't know if I'd be totally surprised if Reeve, I'm pretty sure that's the guy that is on our side, a guy on the inside, I wouldn't be surprised if he was actually, um, the one. But, uh, I'm gonna see if I can just fast travel there. Morning. Hey! Stood up? Nope. Waiting on you folks. Something I wanted to ask. What? You calling us? <laughs> Goddamn, okay. You wanna join? We'll have you. About your mother. Her name's a Fauna, right? Whoa. Maybe. So what? That sounds like a yes to me. I called it the second I saw you. Boy, am I ever glad I sent up smoke. 
Tell me, how's she doing? Good? She's dead. No. She's dead. <clears throat> you know, the whole reason I joined Shinra was to become a pilot. But I wound up as a gopher for some lazy grease monkeys. Had me running around HQ fixing lights and whatnot. One time, though, I came across a pretty young thing with a little girl in her arms. That was you, wasn't it? Probably. You were knee-high to a tonberry. I was what? Called a smogger, I'd wager. Anything I can do for you? I want to help. What? <laughs> Hell Why? yeah! I was just trying to do right by you. <laughs> Flying us around will be more than plenty. Thanks. Then again, if you're just dying to help, you could take us to the saucer for free. Free? It's fine. We'll pay. on me hell yeah my you man head to the saucer just give me a holler oh yeah return to the gold saucer let's go unless it says well we'll hey, see good to go good to go to the gold saucer yes let's get a move on then Uh -huh. Uh, an eight? Oh shit! Yes, dude, let's go! You said that Sephiroth is your foe. He is. I have a history with him. Unfinished business. Get in line. He bothering you? Want me to give him the boot? Uh, I don't think you got a boot big enough for this guy. Try to screw us over, and you're a dead man. Hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Take a seat. You can manage eight. Ain't gonna lie, that's a tall order for most pilots. Uh. Lucky for you, I ain't most pilots. This is fucking Sidolphus. I imagine his name is Sidolphus. I don't know. Just Sid so far. And we're back to this shit. All right. Any dialogue? Hey, Sid. I was wondering, could you tell me a little more about my mom? Sure. I was greener than Mako when I met a father. She took my heart for a spin. Not you, Sid. Eric. Yeah? What happened to your mother? She get sick? Doctors always said she had a weak constitution, and trying to escape didn't help. I think she just pushed herself too hard, all so that I could be free. I'm sorry. At least she went out on her own terms. Did she? Even if she didn't, you should honor her memory by enjoying the life she gave you. Yeah. Thanks. Hey, don't know if y'all heard. Wutai's finally made a move against Shinra. Might be war. And as Midgar's been bombed to hell and back, Shinra's gotta be on the ropes. War isn't worth celebrating. Ever. Exactly. This will affect everyone. 
for the worse. It's like when Sephiroth shows up. Nobody knows. Uh, on a related note, if war is officially declared, it will maybe long before borders start closing. So, if you've got something to be, you might want to get a wee shuffle on. Mm. Oh, fuck! What the? Sid? Hey, Sid? I heard you the first time. Just sit tight. Everything's under control. Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh. Oh, that's not okay! Oh god, oh god, okay. Oh! You sure? Something like that was the engine. That was one of them! Get off my ass and sit tight like I told you to! What was it? How did you? you can swim away from <laughs> <laughs> you almost killed us I think he saved us I mean he's just got a shitty plane <laughs> how the hell are we getting out of here Okay, let's start her up. You're missing a wing, dude. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, but the wings are still broken. And what of it? Only one man has mastered the land, air, and sea. You're looking at it. Oh, it's a boat now? That? Okay, so. So, you can think of me as the captain of your ship. Strap on in and we'll punch through the chop. Aye, aye. <laughs> Let's set sail. Straight through the ravine and on to Costa del Sol. And after that, we hit it. Sounds like a plan. We'll be there before you know it. Let's set a course for Costa del Sol, sir. Roger that. Full speed ahead. Oh, hell yeah. Kate, mind filling us in on Keystone before we arrive? Gladly. About 20 years back, one of my more eccentric colleagues convinced the company to build a museum for his antiques. The reliquary, they called it. Pretty cool, eh? Now, according to the company then, the Keystone was housed there. Wait a second. I thought you said it was at the Gold Saucer. I'm getting to that. What a threat. He was. Oh, right. So, the museum turned out to be a photo wall. Closed as soon as it opened. But, somewhere between cutting the ribbon and boarding up the windows, the keystone vanished in the thin air. So it's not at the saucer? Do you know where it went? No, but I know a man who went. A former curator. Do you? How do you know that man? Let's just say. After the museum debacle, all the deal was devoted, only to be promoted again when the saucer took off. Made director in no time, a real riches to rags to riches story, all of which is why we're out for the saucer. Hey, see, you're not here right. You used to work with Shinra. Still do, on occasion. The boys got their uses. That's gonna be a problem. You see, we don't take kind friends of the company. And I don't take kind to that Tony. What's appealing about the skies? I'm all to myself. Rats can have their race in the gutter. Never much cared for the squeaking 
anyways. <laughs> I miss the wild blue yonder dearly. I hope Johnny's all built up by now. Damn it, this hotel is found its ceilings. Bad chance. Kid probably got gripped it again and has cried himself to sleep every night. Oh, come on, we helped him. Is that dialogue out of place? We already helped him put together his fucking seaside inn. He was banging by the time we left. Okay, very neat trick that airplane just had. <sighs> yep, of course, she's Thank sick. Thank you for choosing Bronco Cruises. We sincerely hope you enjoyed your trip with us. Cruises? I thought it was Bronco Airlines. Not after his wings got clipped. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, we really appreciate you ferrying us around. You're most welcome. Hey, y'all are headed to the saucer, ain't you? I might could tag along, take in the splendor. Yeah, dude, come on. What do you think? Yes. Of course. Yeah. The girl always knows just what to say. Am I right? Okay, quit hitting me, dude. Shall we? <laughs> Wait a sec. Where's Vincent? No, no, Vincent. Vincent, hey. Up there. Hey. Come on, get back here. Another loner. As if one wasn't enough of a pain in my ass. Yeah, one's more than enough. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about. Talking about me. You mean me? <laughs> <laughs> All right, now that the tiny Bronco is able to cross the Meridian Ocean, you can fast travel to any location from the map access with, uh, yeah, that button. So to board the tiny Bronco, speak to Sid at the nearest port, select a vessel from the map screen. Uh, the SRC's declaration of war against Shinra was the shot heard around the world, unsettling folks everywhere. Check notice boards as you travel to locations both old and new, and see if anyone needs help from a hand for hire. <gasps> the attractions at the Gold Saucer have undergone a series of renovations, motherfucker! As have minigames available in other regions. Try revisiting familiar locations and seeing what new challenges await. Note that some minigames will not be updated until certain conditions are met. Yeah, well, we fucking met every goddamn condition we had to. Combat Simulator 3.3.3, fast travel available, ports around the world. New Queen's Blood players, new quests are available in the Grasslands. In the Grasslands? Junon, Corel. Well, son of a bitch, dude. Gangaga, Nebel. Oh boy, that's gonna be a lot of work to do. But not quite yet. Alright, we're starting with the Seaside Inn. Now I can't fucking fast travel here. God damn it. Fine, we'll walk there. Actually, can we talk to this guy? Since he's on our... No? Can't say anything? You don't want to say anything? Fine. Fine! Johnny? If you come across any cool curios, you know where to bring them. Oh, that's right. Okay, so it's not actually anything. Uh, I wonder if it'll tell me any more... Gilded the Chocobo in the Cosmo Canyon. Jump Frog, Riveting Rollers. Dolphin Show. What the fuck are all these things? Advanced Rank Card Puzzles, Card Carnival. Card Carnival, Card Carnival. Holy shit, there is gonna be so much to fucking do. Expert Course in G-Bike. Uh, 3D Brawler, fuck. Uh, still no information about this one. Man, this is just, this is gonna be a lot. Oh my god, oh god. Oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. All right, here we are. Should split up to look for Dio. Will do. If I catch you goofing off, so help me out. Uh, Cloud, you got a minute? There's something I failed to mention about the Temple of the Ancients. Mm. You might call it a legend. Or a warning. Uh huh. You see, no one who goes into the temple ever comes out again. No one. And I'm wondering if you really want to take everyone to a place like that. You said it yourself. It's just a legend. I did, aye, but. Let's focus on finding Dio and the Keystone for now. Uh. 
that's scary. I don't like it. Lots of foreshadowing in this goddamn game. I'm not really sure where to go. If I was Dio, where would I be? Should we try and find him in the... The, the battle thing? Uh... Where is that thing? Battle Square? No... I think it's... Event Square. I think that's the one that has, like, the, uh... The bike and blood... Queen's blood and... The fighting... The, the like, virtual fighting thing. Is that it? Nope. This is the goddamn theater. Son of a bitch. Dio? Dio? Yuffie? Can you hang on a sec? Kinda of busy here. Alright. You're the boss. <laughs> Cloud! Don't even think of lecturing me. I already did my recon. And it turned up squat, okay? Anyway... You wanna throw down? You know what? Fuck it. I forgot how to play, son of a bitch, okay. Well, that's fucking embarrassing. Bitch! Hope you're ready. Suck my dick. <sighs> God, I am not excited to fucking do that again. Well, look at that. Treated her like shit, and she still fucking... still likes me. I mean... Fuck, man, we are here. Is he just gonna show up in the last square that we go? Or should I do all these right fucking now? Uh, no, I don't- I don't really have the time to be doing all these right now. Um, we'll just keep looking for him in other places. Alright, we're back at Event Square. Uh, because apparently we're gonna have to go through each one, but... Bad news. No sign of Dio whatsoever. While we're talking. Did you know this is where Jesse used to perform? Yeah. Oh. If she was with us, she'd probably be gushing about the role she played. Or maybe not. Maybe she'd be mad to see this place burning through more Mako than ever. Either way, she'd have kept us entertained. Yeah. Ain't that the truth? Alright. Nothing here. Chocobo Square, here we go. Hey, man. Hey, sorry, but I haven't caught a whiff of Dio yet. Damn. Good race? Yeah, it'd be awesome if I could enter. As a jockey? Or a chocobo? Hmm, either or. Hmm. All right.
Alright, well, he's not here. Speed Square. Hey, Sid. How's it going? Just so you know, Dio ain't here. Well, alright. <laughs> Glad we had that little conversation. Battle Square, here we come. Aerith? Check it out, Cloud. Can you believe this? Oh, shit. The dawn outstayed his welcome in Midgar and decided to set up shop in the saucer. Great timing, eh? Interesting. There's an event being held at the Musclehead Coliseum tomorrow. If there's a dress rehearsal today, Dio might be there. We should check it out. But wait, but wait, but wait. What about the others? No! Damn it, I wanted to talk to the others. Tifa was probably at the sky wheel. Dude, can I fucking reload? Uh, how far back is that? That's fucking 21 minutes. Oh my god. Oh. I do not want to fight fucking Yuffie again. Ah. Aha, found him. Greetings, Mr. Director. Hmm. He doesn't look quite right. Oh shit, Shinra fucked him well, up. If it isn't our friendly fugitives, you're looking hale and hearty. What happened to you? I made a painful discovery that the Turks are stronger than they look. You, sir, should know better. You're no spring chicken. Speaking of old things, whatever happened to that wee keystone thingy? <laughs> we need to get our hands on it. Hmm. Was part of your collection, last we heard. Hmm. We're gonna have to it enter was, the Colosseum yes. for and him. Fact, still is. Fight for him. Point of order. My ancestors owned it. Don't you think that makes me its rightful owner? Hmm. A cetera, are you? That, my dear, is a bold claim. <laughs> But still, who am I to dispute your heritage? You may, of course, have the keystone. That is, on one condition. You enter the Colosseum under my name. You must take part in our exclusive event, the fight for naming rights. Dio's champions versus the Corneo family. Should my team fall to those rogues, the gold saucer will become Corneo Land. Oh, God. Let's sit out. Training hard and getting those games. What's up, party people? What's up? It's a challenge from the dark. Find and Give the people what they want. Take it in a piece. But look at me. I can barely lift a finger. Here I was, lamenting my lot in life, when you came along. Tis fate. Nay, divine intervention. What say you? Will you be my champions and go to war against Don Corneo? I'll do it. I'll fight. We've done it before. We win, we get the keystone. Right? As agreed, you have my word. Dio is nothing if not a man of his word. Then we have ourselves a deal. <laughs> Naturally, I want you in peak physical condition for the big bout, so please use my hotel to rest up. Great. I'll jog on ahead and tell the others then. Can I tell Tifa? Let me tell Tifa. Rest at the Haunted Hotel. Now we can fast travel? Can we fast travel directly to the Haunted Hotel? Do I gotta use one of these stupid fucking Moogles to do it? I have to use a goddamn Moogle. The fate of the gold saucer rests on your shoulders. Don't let me down. I won't let you down, Dio. Corneo's a fucking disgusting bastard. Dreams of pain! <laughs> Taking part in the main event at the Coliseum tomorrow. That's right. 
One of your comrades is hoping to spend a moment alone with Cloud later this evening. Cloud's relationships with his allies will determine how this portion of the story unfolds. If you wish to improve a bond with a teammate, completing any remaining odd jobs which feature them before you proceed. You'd better rest up before your big day. Son of a bitch! No! Uh, fuck! Well, god damn it, uh... Shut up, shut up. Let me, let me fucking look this up for a second. A few moments later. Alright, well... Um, unfortunately it appears as though, uh... We can't, we can't continue without doing the rest of the game. And, uh, that's... I'm kind of fucking, I don't, I, I mean, sucks the timing and spacing and shit like that. I would love to keep continuing on with this. This is either going to be, I mean, it's probably just going to be a very short episode. Maybe I'll supplement it during the week, depending on its upload schedule, but, um, we're just not ready to continue. There's a lot more stuff that needs to go on, a lot of side missions that need to be completed before continuing on with this next point, because it's going to be very important how this next part plays out. And, uh, I want to- I, I want to know. Um, so, with that being said, I'm gonna have to end that episode right here. If you, uh, if you made it to this part of the video, I strongly suggest you subscribe, because why the hell not? Uh, if you wouldn't mind leaving a like on your way out the door, that'd be greatly appreciated. And I also... I- I would strongly recommend you stick around to see what happens, because I am- I think it's gonna get crazy. And if you do... I hope you see me in the next one. Thanks again.